Hello everyone, welcome back to the Maxido YouTube channel. We're glad to have you here. How have you been? Okay, so um, today we want to show you how we made this um, V-stitch and peplum dress. Um, sorry, it's a top. <laughs> yeah, but you can actually make it into a dress depending on the length that um, you want. This, we made a top, yeah. You could make um, an above the knee dress, you know, or you could, you know, take it down all the way to your ankle. All right, so essentially, what we need, the measurements you're going to be needing for this dress are the bust area, right, the waist, right, and then the hip. The hip being, you're going to have to increase, um, work increases such that it will create this very beautiful peplum um, pattern, okay? So we used these stitches to work this, this um, top, right? We work this top, we use two different yarn types. So depending on what is available to you, the yarn weight we used for the body of the top is different from the yarn weight we used for the lace. The lace is actually um, malleable, yeah, it can tie it into a bow, so it's um, a lot lighter, you know, so, and while the body, it's a little more sturdy, all right, because we used um, a heavier yarn weight. So we started to work this top from the top, <laughs> yeah, from this top here, meaning from the armhole axis. We divided the length required for the armhole into two, thereabouts, and then we started with that. Okay, so we just created enough um, chains. These chains we worked in multiples of three, because uh, these stitches need um, work, are worked in multiples of three, all right, um, this way. So you need um, stitches in multiples of three and probably even number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? Mm -hmm. So this way I'm going to just add one more because I'm going to be working in diagonal. This is, this is not in, in the round. In the round you just stick with your even numbers. However, working diagonally you may need an extra um, stitch. Or two okay so I'm gonna walk um, this is gonna represent a single sorry a double crochet stitch right and this is this represents my chain okay I'm gonna fix it into that stitch because if this stitch is a DC as in a double crochet this stitch is one double crochet a chain and another double crochet in the same stitch that's how it is worked so the next V you're going to be skipping two stitches and walking your V into the next um, loop. All right, so my next V is going to go in here. So it will consist of a double crochet stitch, a chain, and another double crochet stitch. That's essentially how a V stitch works. Skip two, double crochet, chain. Another double crochet in the same stitch. By the time you're done and you get to the end of the row, when you're returning, you're going to be working the V stitches into the chain spaces of the V stitches from the previous row. All right? Today is not a V stitch day. So I'm just going to go on and tell us how we made our dress. All right. So starting from there, of course, we realize that we have to make increases to um, accommodate the bust measurement. All right, so we worked it, even increases, yeah? You notice here, we had increases in every in every room at either side. We increased here, and then here, and then here, and then here, then here, then here. We increased up until we got the required width for the bust. And then we maintained, you know, we maintained um, the uh, same number of stitches all the way to the diaphragm. And then from the diaphragm area, we also we now had to decrease so we would lose like six stitches meaning two v stitches would have to go at that point and then when we get to the waist area we now walk multiple increases now for this peplum part of it are you new to our channel if you are do subscribe yeah and then let us know what you think about our video we have numerous numerous tutorial videos for you we have numerous exploration videos for you where you're also welcome to let us know what video you would like to to watch all right or what technique you would like to learn what tip you would like to learn 
I will put it into a video for you. We do not walk the entire um, our entire uh, project on the video. What we just do is we tell you how to work it. And then if you want um, further details, you reach out to us and then we'll let you know how you can get those further details. So let's go on. The peplon area. Now at this point, we determine even areas, right? Um, let's say you have, I don't know, a total number of um, 100 V stitches around this um, body, right? So we're going to have to divide that into four, pick four points. So we picked four points, two in the front and then two at the back. And it is in these places that we created those increases. When you create steady increases in the same uh, uh, point around a, a project, this is what you achieve. You achieve this beautiful peplum look. All right. So we determine that space. And then we put in two V stitches. And then when we go back around, we put another two V stitches in between the two V stitches. And then when we go back around, two V stitches in, in between the two V stitches like that. And then we got this really beautiful, this beautiful um, pattern, beautiful peplon. It creates a peplon design. Now, something else I'd like to mention is that <laughs> um, over the weekend, we celebrated our independence, our 62nd birthday and um, we, I walk this top in the colors of our flag green white and green you know so yeah let let me tell you how we now made this um, the lace or the bow yeah now at the end of making the dress we now created chain stitches remember that when we were walking the body of the of the of the top right we divided the ample part into two so that remaining part that wasn't taken care of we now use chain stitches so let's just say this part is supposed to take a total length of about seven right so we divided it into two we have three and a half here and three and a half here yeah and i wanted this to drop off the shoulders a bit so i added a little bit more inches right to the um, chains and then worked single crochet stitches into those chains to create this white Call it, it, it would have been a sleeve, so it would have been this chain sleeve, right? However, on top of that chain sleeve, we now started another round of these stitches, but this time around in a thinner yarn width, so that it will enable us to, you know, work this bow, right? See how easily <laughs> it ties into a bow, okay? So, yeah, we worked that, went around, created this long chain here, so that we could have this extended lace. Did the same for the other side, and then worked these stitches around and around in diagonal. We went, came back like that. Now, something interesting we did in order to leave the loose end to the end of the lace really thin, right? For every row, we skipped a V. So for this first row, after we worked the full V, when we came back around. We skipped this V and ended our stitch here. When we came back around, we skipped those two, ended it here, came back around, ended it here, ended it there, like that. So we now have this step-like feel on the lace. It really created a very beautiful feel. When you create a bow, I uh, will show you in the pictures. It's really, really nice. So um, let me know what you think about our um, V stitch per plug top. And let us know what parts of the video were not very clear to you. And we would um, see what we can do about that. So do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can be alerted when we have know how we made these videos. We, we plan <laughs> to um, send in at least 10 of them before the year runs out. So keeping our fingers crossed as we do that. Thank you all for watching. Bye for now.